Amy's life was going great, but little did she know that in the next five minutes, her whole life was about to change. She was going to be trapped in a place where no one could rescue her, surrounded by darkness as if she were in the underworld, and in just a few minutes, she would be seen struggling for her life. Yes, such is the story of Amy Maria. She experienced something that no one would ever want to get caught in. Amy loved adventure and trying new things, so she called her friend Algin, who was a diving expert and trainer. Amy told him she wanted to learn diving, so they selected a big cave located in Mexico, and Amy's training began for this very thing. They headed here after the training, and Amy convinced her friend to let her lead the dive so he could video her while she was in the lead. Amy was going to make a major error with this. Her friend agreed to stay above 40 feet and to finish the cave experience in a straightforward manner, but they had no idea that this story would cause a national scandal. They began diving at 11, 2 on the appointed day, with Amy leading the dive as per the agreement. They had a great time exploring and seeing new things below as they swam for 25 minutes. When Amy's buddy revealed to her a natural light source, they both celebrated because they had accomplished a significant goal. The diver made sure they stayed over the danger mark of 40 feet by first checking the air pressure. The diver gave Amy the all-clear after verifying, but Amy had no idea that this would eventually result in a large red stop sign in her life. They moved forward and saw two new paths, one used by tourists and one avoided by everyone due to danger. Amy, without fear, started down this path. Ahead they saw something that made them go crazy. There was a natural sight that neither of them had seen before, and Amy wanted to record this moment. Her friend did just that, but they had to turn off their lights to capture the natural light in their photos and videos. Amy liked the recorded videos a lot and was happy. They began to move forward again, but her friend forgot to turn the lights back on, and they continued swimming. Amy saw two paths ahead, both leading into caves. She had no prior experience, so she didn't know which way to go. She tried to turn back, but couldn't see anything. In the cave, they couldn't speak, so her friend didn't understand why Amy was doing this. If he had known, he would have led her, but Amy chose left instead of right and moved forward. When she looked back, she couldn't see anything, and the story took a dark turn. There was no light in the cave, so even after turning on her lights, Amy could only see a little ahead. She suspected something but then smiled, thinking her friend was with her but nothing like that happened. Amy started turning her light on and off, signaling for her friend to see her. But even after swimming around for a while, her friend couldn't find her. He turned off the camera, turned on his lights, and realized Amy wasn't with him. They had been together just a few minutes ago, so what happened? This thought made her friend anxious. Soon, he became active and started looking for Amy, thinking if she panicked or got scared, it would be a problem. Andrew waited and searched for three minutes but couldn't find her due to the darkness. He believed she had gone ahead and come out to show that she could dive alone. He moved forward, removing the markings, which turned out to be his biggest mistake. When Andrew reached the finish point and didn't find Amy there, he started to panic. On the other side, Amy, trapped in the darkness, was blinking her light, thinking her friend would come to save her. She got scared but then calmed herself, thinking her friend— a perfect and special diver, would come and save her. This was Amy's last hope. On the other side, Andrew thought of bringing Amy back but realized his oxygen tank was empty. This was the biggest danger. If Amy's oxygen tank ran out, she would die in the cave. Andrew went far to get a new tank and returned to the cave after a couple of hours. He thought he could save Amy alone. By then, it was two, five, and according to Andrew's experience, the oxygen tank would be empty by then. Despite thinking this, Andrew moved forward to find Amy, believing she wouldn't give up so easily. Thirteen minutes into his swim, Andrew noticed something floating. It was, in fact, Amy's body. It was her buddy who recognized Amy's body. When he realized Amy was holding the air pipe in the water instead of in her mouth, he lost it. Though he was wrong, Andrew believed he might still help Amy. Amy's life ended with this. He did everything he could to help her breathe, even putting his pipe in her mouth and blowing air into it, but it was too late. He managed to raise Amy's dead body after another fifteen minutes of swimming and discovered she had not survived. 
he called into the police, heartbroken. When the authorities arrived, they seized Amy's body and gave it to her relatives. Following this, the government made numerous modifications to this cave and issued warnings to divers to keep out of such situations going forward. Our channel has a lot of these stories. You can look them up and subscribe. Thank you.